Hi guys, welcome to TV Calibration with Darko. What you are currently seeing is calibrated LG's Ultra HD OLED 65 inch EC970V. That's actually first Ultra HD OLED which arrived in Croatia and the first one that I had pleasure to review. So I will now show you how menus look after doing complete calibration. So picture mode expert one, there are two ISF certified expert modes. One can be set for daytime and the other for nighttime. This one, these settings are for peak brightness of 150 nits on 18% of the screen covered with white. As with plasmas, so OLED TVs are not calibrated using full field patterns, but with window patterns. Just for your information, when there is only 2% of white on the screen, this TV manages to squeeze more than 300 nits of peak brightness. But when we have full screen filled with white, Peak brightness is only around 85 nits. So same as with previously tested OLED TVs. Okay, now let's go to picture adjust. OLED light 70 with peak brightness as I mentioned before. Contrast 80, brightness 50. Horizontal and vertical sharpness I reduced to 5, basically Sharpness depends on the content you are watching. The content which you are currently seeing is from LG. It's a high quality UHD content, so there is really no need to increase sharpness, but with Full HD or, God forbid, SD content of, on, this, on this display, you can play with these settings. Color 50, 10, 0. Going to expert control where you see dynamic contrast is off, super resolution off, standard is color gamut. Uh, basically this TV can display all colors according to Rec 709 spec, but it can also go beyond it, coming to somewhere around 84%, I think so, 84, 85% of DCI cinema standard. Edge enhancer off, color filter off, gamma 2.4 which will give you nice 2.2 characteristic. White balance, as usual LG offers 2 point and 20 point controls for 2 point. Since there was too little green as brightness increased, I had to reduce red and blue components. And in darker areas, we also have reduced red and blue. Now let me go to 20 point controls. Let's see each stimulus. No changes to 100%. 90 also untouched. 80 as well. Okay, increase blue. Sixty percent blue increased. Let's go to fifty. Okay. Thirty percent No changes here And no changes to ten percent either you can copy these settings to all inputs But as usual only white balance controls will be copied 
let's go to color management system these settings you need to enter per input because there is no option to copy them to all inputs red green blue small adjustment Cyan, let's see magenta, and yellow, you see huge modifications to saturation and tint, to the limit itself. Picture options, these two controls should be adjusted depending on the source. Black level low and true motion. I prefer user preset, which gives me access to the blur and the judder controls. So the judder is to increase smoothness to make movies look like soap opera, and the blur is to increase motion resolution. Uh, motion resolution is similar to Full HD equivalent, so when the blur is at zero you get around 600 out of 2160 total lines. And when you increase it just by one, you get two times this motion resolution. So some value about 1000 lines out of 2160. You can increase it as much as you want, but this won't affect perceived motion resolution. Aspect ratio, depending on the content, currently I'm playing these videos through USB, so I don't have access to aspect ratio, but it should be set to original or just scan. What can I say about OLED? Perfect black, infinite contrast, really nicely saturated colors. I enjoyed watching, of course, Ultra HD demo materials, but also Full HD movies. And basically for the money, this is the best TV that you can buy. If you want to watch movies and also in all kinds of environments from pitch black to bright room this is the tv to go i mean nothing currently on the market compares to this beautiful black reproduction and it really receives my highest recommendation design is also nice aluminum frame really thin thickness of the tv is extremely small stand is made of metal with oled written on it which I find nice addition since um, I think that if you buy this TV you should show it off so it's not LED LCD it's completely new technology which gives really awesome picture for movies and all types of content so if you buy this TV you will see the difference whether you watch TV program or highest quality blu-ray you have in your collection so thank you very much for watching, if you have any questions or comments, you need something to be clarified, please leave a comment or send me a message, and I see you again in some other calibration or review video, hopefully very soon, bye!